Good day to you. I'm Spenta. I live in USDA Zone 7 and today I'm sharing one of my Pride and Joy peppers with you. This is one of my Chinzo pepper plants and it is actually a pepper plant that has survived the winter and made it from last year into this season. That's right. For the first time, I was able to overwinter a pepper plant naturally without using a greenhouse. Again, I'm Spenta. I live in USDA Zone 7. Peppers are annuals in my area. There are warmer climates, however, warmer climates that peppers can be perennial in. They will go into a dormancy period when it hits near 34 degrees or 35 degrees Fahrenheit, even 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And then they do not pepper, they do not flower. They will flower though the upcoming spring and they will have a long growing season for months. It is not so here. It is not the case here. So I have to use different methods. I like to cultivate peppers variety of peppers and I've been doing this for a long time. The first time I ever planted a pepper seed in the ground was when I was five and that is another reason why I'm so interested in cultivating peppers. I've cultivated many varieties and I'm so glad that this Chinzo is a really strong one. Uh, right over here they are the new seedlings that I placed in three weeks ago from an old Chinzo right here from the same plant. Let me show it to you. Be very careful when handling peppers. This one, I also cut from this plant here and I transplanted some over here to see if it would grow and it has done a great job. I am going to continue growing this pepper plant and I'm also going to save seeds. Now be really careful when you are saving seeds that have been dried on your plants because if they are spicy and you get them in your eyes, they can be damaging. So wear eye protection and wear gloves when you are taking seeds out of your pepper plants. One year I was cooking out and I remember I had cayenne seasoning and cayenne got all over my eyes when I was grilling. So I had cornea damage for a couple of months. So those peppers can be pretty, pretty, pretty rough if you are not dealing with them with care. Now this is a hot variety. I have a lot of other peppers that are spicy. So this isn't the only one that I like growing. However, it is the only one that successfully overwintered. Let me tell you a bit about how I overwintered this pepper plant. As I mentioned earlier, in October, the first freeze comes long lasting for a few days. Peppers will not last. This particular pepper plant, however, made it. It stayed strong. There were no damages on the leaves. So I decided I'm going to save this pepper plant by moving it from open area like it is right now, just an open area. I decided that I'm going to move it under my patio. It is a covered patio, but of course it's still open to the weather and temperature. It's still open to weathering. It's still open to the climate. It still sees climate. However, when it snows, it's full of ice, weeks with full of ice, weeks with full of snow. This pepper plant did not get snowed on. It did not get iced on. It was sitting under the patio. So it acclimated itself to our climate. I'm really, really glad. It did so by, I recall in October, there were about 10 green peppers on this plant. Uh, of course, the plant was much larger than you see right now. The pepper plant was about two feet tall and one feet in uh, one foot in depth. So it was pretty good. It was pretty bushy. However, this is what you expect when they go into dormancy mode. You see all those little leaves that are starting to grow. However, see how thick the bottom of that pepper plant is? That is exactly the what you want to see. That's exactly what you will see if the pepper has gone through dormancy. So this pepper has gone through dormancy. It had about 10 flowers on it and 10, 10 peppers of different variety sizes, including some that are like this. So I left it on there. I decided to leave it on there. Uh, usually people take the peppers off if they are allowing a pepper plant to go into dormancy mode so that the pepper itself can focus all of its energy into the pepper, into the stem, and into the leaves for photosynthesis to happen. So 
This is not a case for me. As I mentioned, I placed this pepper plant away from full sun under my patio and it's still seeing indirect sun. However, all the way starting November through March, this pepper was under the patio using indirect sun from just the regular light from my backyard. I didn't take it inside. I did not put it in a greenhouse. It made it. I'm really, really glad. So I highly recommend if you see a pepper plant that's in a pot and it really works best in pot. I have tried prior to this, I have tried transplanting a very nice mature pepper from the ground into a pot and then overwintering it. It doesn't do well, it dies. I haven't had much luck with that. Uh, also, you can grow a pepper just fine in a greenhouse because in a greenhouse you have good conditioning. Your humidity level is right. You can control what humidity level it's at. You can control the light that's in there. You could even add glow lights if you, uh, if you could add grow lights uh, into, your, um, um, into your greenhouse depending on the greenhouse. So lots of lights can be placed in there. That greenhouse can be just as good as growing peppers outside sometimes. So it depends on the greenhouse. This pepper was not at all grown in a greenhouse, nor was it conditioned or brought up in a greenhouse. From the beginning, it was a seedling. I allowed it to grow in a pot outside. It matured into two feet tall and one foot wide. And then in October, that hard freeze came. There was about 10 peppers on it and 10 blooms. I decided I'm going to move it to the patio. And then those blooms turned into peppers. The other peppers turned red. I saved a few red ones. And there were no more blooms, of course. And at the end, I ended up with about 10 red peppers on this plant with a plant that was much smaller than this exactly a month ago. So this plant is doing so well and I'm looking at it from my angle and I'm looking at over 20 peppers on this particular plant and there are five flowers that I see. So I see five flowers. I actually see six now that I'm looking and I see about 20 new peppers on this small, tiny, yet mighty Chinzo. And here are some new transplants that I will be taking out of this and into another pot. I will be transferring this. I wanted to keep it in here. It's smart to keep your transplant near the same area, near the same soil, because then you're making sure it has the same condition. I wanted it to be able to grow in the same condition so I can transplant it and have continuous chinzo peppers. Again, I'm Spenta. I love cultivating peppers. I thank you for watching my share. If I can overwinter my pepper plants and this beautiful annual can turn into a perennial in my climate, USDA Zone 7, you can give it a try too. So I highly recommend that you, if you love any type of pepper plants or let's say tomato or any other plant that is an annual, why not give it a try? Plant a seed or two into the pot allow it to grow after its maturity size put it under your patio if you have a covered area it just might make it just like my chinzo i'm really happy with this pepper plant again i'm spenta and i thank you for watching my share and wish you a beautiful day happy gardening